just something that I'm gonna wear and just like not sell. I'm sick of selling my bags, guys. Like I'm actually so over it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. It's my day off today. I got my hair cut and yeah, I have got pretty long hair actually. I realized. Um, I wanted to get some more earrings because I'm currently just wearing earrings from Diva, which are like the gold plated ones, like here. But they keep like falling out of my ear and like also they just look like not the best and all the gold plating keeps chipping off so i thought i would like, i don't know guys i don't want to get like cartier or something it's gonna be so expensive i'm just like not at that level yet guys i'm still handbag obsessed so i wanted to get like solid gold earrings like i don't know like 10 karat gold or something so i ended up going to <laughs> Michael Hill drawer. <laughs> I couldn't help myself guys. I had to get a diamond studs as well because I don't know, I just wanted like a bit of bling and they were like quite expensive, but it's lucky because it's actually Mother's Day today. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there as well. Because it is Mother's Day, they had 15% uh, off, which I feel like they always have sales, but I was like, oh, it's lucky because I had 15% off earrings, which is like what I needed. And apparently it was the last day, so. I ended up getting five pairs of earrings. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Got a ice mocha here, so yeah, treating myself. I wanted to talk about some bags that have been on my mind recently, and particularly with Louis Vuitton. I know guys, I kind of go through phases of being obsessed with Louis Vuitton, but recently, I don't know, actually I'm kind of conflicted. So on Foxy LV's Instagram, uh, she did a sneak peek of the stardust print like oh so i checked it out and actually guys i think it looks really cool so it's kind of like green with like a purple shift to it and it's gonna be on the on the go pm which i think is really cool but i, I don't know guys you know how with the on the go pm they've been doing the the guitar strap with it like that big chunky strap i actually like those guitar straps like in terms of comfort and stuff like i really like like the mini evelyn bag and like even on my hermes bags i always add the thick canvas straps but i feel like on the on the go pm it looks kind of weird as a crossbody like i feel like the on the go looks really cute as a top handle but i don't like how with like you know the um you know the spring in the city collection with all the pastel colors they added the guitar strap with the coin purse. I think it looks a little bit busy. So I'd be curious to see if in this Stardust collection they add the same elements to it. Yeah, because, I don't know guys, let me know what you think. Um, but I feel like the Stardust collection is gonna be really cute and I'd be curious to see if they do like a different colorway as well, like a pink shimmer would be really pretty or like, I don't know, see green with blue or like purple because i don't know i really like the um like the small embossed monograms in it yeah so i'm curious about the stardust collection i think it's going to be promising and can you imagine guys if they release a nano speedy in this like green stardust finish like then i'm going to be in trouble guys it's actually another day but nikki told me to check out some more sneak peeks of the like shimmer stardust collection and i found some sneaks on pairs forum of this like pink shimmer material and oh my gosh guys i'm kind of obsessed it comes in a neo noe which is not my personal favorite style but i'm thinking surely they're gonna release more bags in this pink shimmer stardust you can also see a close-up of like the blue uh, version as well, which I don't know guys, which one do you prefer? The pink one comes with gold hardware and the green one comes with silver hardware. But I'm thinking like to match my bag charms, it would be so cute to get the pink with the gold hardware. But I think I would only be tempted to buy it if they release like maybe um, some sort of like mini speedy, maybe a speedy 20. I know I've had that before guys, but I'm over like the brown monogram. so. I think Speedy 20 in this pink would be absolutely breathtaking or a nano Speedy guys like don't get, even get me started like that would be so cute or even an Alma would be really nice oh and today I'm wearing my puzzle my authentic puzzle bag guys <laughs> and I got my Starbucks um, I've really downsized my collection a lot. I'm definitely going to give you guys an updated handbag collection this year. I'm still in the process of, um, actually, I've sold a few bags, but a lot of people are buying them on payment plans. So I kind of want to like wait till I've um, 
I'll opt I don't know guys, I'm never at bag piece, so I feel like I want to buy like a few more bags first and then do a collection video or um, also finalize some of the bags that I'm selling before I show you guys my whole collection because it's hard for you guys to get a perspective of like what I'm into at the moment when like, I don't know, some of you have probably looked at my background in my videos and been like, like what happened to that bag and what happened to that and I definitely want to give you guys like a full explanation later because I think it is helpful as well and it's just like showing my experience with my bags but um, I actually am kind of curious by this Louis Vuitton collection and I'm kind of feeling like I'm missing like a little cute camera bag in my collection like a designer one or something more practical because I've been really wearing my mini Evelyn bag a lot from Hermes and that made me think like maybe do I want to get like a mini A-line bag which is also like a lower priced point Hermes bag um, and I like how simple that is and just the leather is obviously really nice because it's Hermes and I thought it'd be so cute if I got a mini A-line bag with a, a Pegasus charm and put that on top yeah I don't know guys what do you think of the mini A-line bag but then I also considered like the Nano Speedy as like a little cute like grab and go bag um, but I'm kind of personally just a bit over the monograms but I don't know if that's just a phase for me so I'm thinking if like in the Stardust collection they have like a really cute micro bag, it would be really cute for me to add to my collection. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today actually. I'm wearing an, uh, my Armani crossbody. Yeah, my Armani staff bag, which um, I got when I worked there. So I'm just forever staffed to be honest guys. Like I never get a day off. It's my only day off. I'm not even hanging out with anyone. Just by myself like a loser, but whatever. I really enjoy just walking around as well and I actually really enjoy vlogging um, so I really appreciate if you guys even watch me on my days off or like you know whatever vlogging I don't want to get people oh my gosh people getting in the photo yeah so I went to the Asian supermarket before as well and I noticed they had some really cute stuff like um, they had these little Pokemon toys in there and they had Pokemon cereal and they had like poop candy I almost wanted to buy it because I thought it looked really cool I ended up buying some mints um, but anyway I came here today because I wanted to get my hair cut and it was just lucky I walked in and BAM I could get my hair cut so that was really awesome um, and also the other day I don't know if you guys like tuned into my vlog but I bought uh, fake eyelashes and they really did not work out guys like they were magnetic eyelashes and what you're supposed to do is put on the eyeliner and stick the eyelashes to your eye but what I did was when I got it out of the packet, like I literally ripped the magnets off the, the, the lashes and I could not stick it to my eyeball. So yeah, that was an epic fail. Um, but guys, if you do want to get fake lashes, I would recommend following This Is Danny O. She has her, like, she has a viral video on her channel about magnetic lashes and she basically gives you tips on how to apply magnetic lashes. So I watched Danny O's video and I ordered the lashes that she suggested in her description box, which are from um, eBay. And they're really cheap. So hopefully, guys, when I get those magnetic lashes, they will kind of work. Because at the moment, I have, like, very tiny lashes and just, like, remnants of my extension. It's, I'm trying to disguise it with eyeliner, but I, I don't know. Well, it's a bit noisy everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, so I really want to give you guys an updated handbag collection soon, but I also feel like there's a few gaps in my collection I would like to fill. Um, and I, I don't necessarily want to have a collection of just Hermes bags or just Chanel bags. Like, I am open to other brands. I'm even thinking of just, like, for an everyday casual bag, like, some, something similar to this. Like, maybe I should just go for Longchamp or something, guys. Like, is that boring? No, I, I, deep down, I have a real big soft spot for Louis Vuitton. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to talk about this Shimmer Stardust collection. Do you think it's going to be cute? Or do you think it's just, like, another one of those forgotten collections that Louis Vuitton have been churning out lately? Because they really have been... They just keep going, right? I will say, though, actually, on the Shimmer Stardust collection, I actually don't mind how it has silver hardware because... I find that the Louis Vuitton hardware, it does chip really easily, like the gold on the hardware chips off. So I am kind of thinking it would be cool to get a Louis Vuitton bag with silver hardware. And actually in the men's collections, they always do silver. So maybe I might even check out the men's. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to add a Louis Vuitton 
bag back into my collection but just like not I don't want to really want to collect Louis Vuitton anymore I kind of just want like one really perfect like everyday bag just something that I'm gonna wear for and just like not sell I'm sick of selling my bags guys like I'm actually so over it like I, I know it sounds like I'm lying but I'm really overselling my bags like I just want to have I just want to have like the perfect collection and move on with my life I'm thinking guys like usually I wouldn't just like walk into a jewelry store and just like buy whatever I see like that was quite like crazy of me to be honest but I don't know I think with jewelry like I'm a bit so you know how I was talking about bad juju the other day I feel like especially with like earrings I don't know if that's something I would just want to like purchase pre-love like even like I know you can get like secondhand Cartier and all that and you can make quite a saving I was almost considering doing that but I don't know guys, I don't want the bad juju, so that's why I just went to Michael Hill and like <laughs> I got the budget there, <laughs> so I don't really care that much at this point in my life but I know that like when I'm older I'll probably want more fancy fine jewellery but for now I think this will do I just feel kind of bad that I didn't really research it, I literally just walked in and just bought like five pairs of earrings but I feel like it's pretty no brainer, they're just like gold studs so anyway Thanks for listening to my vlogby video today, as usual. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to drink this now. Bye!